he's a messiah because like Allah cleansed him, he purified him. Where does it say that, that he's messiah for that reason? Don't add stuff to the Quran. Show me the Quran says, you are the messiah because Allah cleansed you. Don't add to the Quran. Show me where the Quran tells you what it means for him to be messiah. Sheikh Google's not going to help you. I only can refer to tafsir or hadith. Exactly. The Quran makes a joke out of you because the Quran cannot answer anything. That's my point. Why does your Quran say Jesus was born of a virgin? Because Allah wants that Isa is to be born by a virgin. He is well, to be born by a virgin. Oh, he just, he just felt like it, like he was born? Okay, I'll just, of all the people, yeah, I'll make him be born because I have none better. Why? Like I said earlier, miracle. But why do a miracle for him that he's born of a virgin? What was the purpose? So he just does miracles just to show off or there's a purpose? I could say because he's the Messiah and, and why people is he should follow him. Why is he the Messiah? So you're going to go in a circle. Oh, he's the Messiah. Okay, now why is he the Messiah? What makes him the Messiah? What does it mean to be Messiah? I mean, when you ask me why he's the Messiah, I could say Allah decided to. Okay, but him, but not for Muhammad or Moses. Okay, that makes sense. So Allah just decided, I'm going to make Jesus Messiah, born of a virgin. I'm going to make his mother the greatest woman who ever existed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to only mention her in the Quran, no one else. And I'm going to permit Jesus to create like me and give life like me just because for the fun of it. Okay, and that's what you believe? But why he never said, like, I just, I want for fun. So he never said what? You said, I just made it for fun. But Because you're just, that's your logic. Oh, because Allah wanted him to be Messiah, wanted to be born of a virgin, wanted to be his word that came down to Mary, wanted him to be a spirit that came from him, wanted him to create and breathe life like him. He just wanted to, and only for him, and then made his mother the greatest of all women. And you're still not scratching your head? Why is he so special and better than even Muhammad in my Quran? Where is Muhammad's parents? Hell. Say it again. His father is in hell. And what about his mother? Uh, I don't know where his mother is. As according to the hadith that you refer to, she's in hell too, Sahih Muslim. You want me to show you that? Yes. Go on. So Muhammad, whom you were brainwashed into thinking, he is Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the leader of the messenger sent once. Mm -hmm. And he's al-Insan al-Kamil, the perfect man. And he's the seal of the prophets and his mother is burning in hell. Yeah, Jesus, his mother is the greatest woman Allah created. The only woman mentioned by name. Kept from sin like her son. And you're still not saying to yourself, man, what is it about Jesus? Here, let me get you the hadith. Can I ask you a question during yes. when you search? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, from every prophet like in the Bible, from your prophets, was every parent a believer of, of, the, of the child? No. With Abraham's parents, they're pagan. But was Moses' parents believers? I don't know. Yes. That's why I'm asking you. I'm asking, yeah, only one Abraham because he was the first one chosen. But all the prophets after Abraham, Abraham was the first chosen <clears throat> to be Khalil Allah, like you say. But all the prophets after him, Moses' parents, were they pagans? No, they were Israelites who were part of the covenant community. What about David? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. Um, yeah, all of their parents were believers with the exception of Abraham because he was the first man mm -hmm. chosen to be the one from whose seed would come the prophets. So after Abraham, everyone else, all of them, every one of them, they were born to believing parents, meaning they're part of the community, Bani Israel. Even your Quran says that Allah placed prophet mm -hmm. on Bani Israel. Okay, so when the parents of Abraham died, where they go? We're not told. I don't know. But where did your parents of Muhammad go? They didn't go to hell because they were disbelievers. No, because you just contradict yourself. Because according to what they lied to you, isn't Ishmael the ancestor of Muhammad? Didn't Ishmael. Ishmael supposedly go to the Kaaba and build the Kaaba in Mecca? Isn't it Ishmael? According to your uh, Islam, yeah. they didn't teach you this, that supposedly Muhammad is from the line of Ishmael. Ishmael went to Mecca and built the Kaaba. Didn't they tell you this? With Abraham. Abraham and Ishmael. Why did Abraham mm -hmm. go? Because supposedly Ishmael was there. So Ishmael was there, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means the descendants of Ishmael lived in Mecca. That's what they tell you, right? Because Muhammad is the son of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. So that means Muhammad's parents, they're descendants of Ishmael. Yeah. So that means they would know about Ibrahim and the religion. There were a lot of uh, religions. No, let's try this again. According to mm -hmm. your tradition, go ask your sheikh. Yeah. The reason why they would run seven times around the Kaaba is because these were the practices that they learned from Ishmael. But their mistake was they added idols. Yeah. So that means Muhammad's father and mother knew about Abraham, knew about the true God, knew about Ishmael, and knew about the religion. They still chose to be idolaters, and they went to hell. Why? What excuse do they have for being ignorant? 
I don't know. They didn't have. That's my point. So in the case of Abraham, I don't know where his parents went. We're not told went to heaven mm -hmm. or earth. But with the prophets that come from Abraham, yeah. Moses' parents were believers. David's parents were believers. They all came from the people of God, Israel, who knew God and knew what the deen was. So your prophet is supposedly from Abraham's line through Ishmael. Mm -hmm. And the Kaaba was built by Abraham Ishmael. And the people knew about the religion of Ibrahim because you had the Hunafa. They tell you the Hanafi. Mm -hmm. So that means Muhammad's parents would have known about Allah, would have known about the deen, and yet they still cho chose to become um, kufar and go to hell. And yet supposedly then she gave birth to the greatest man who ever lived. And light came out of her private part when Muhammad was born. And she still went to hell. Right? I mean, they're disbelievers. Disbelievers go to hell. But why did Allah shame your prophet by not guiding them? Because you're telling me disbelievers, right? But mm -hmm. Jesus' mother, God, Allah made her the greatest woman. Yeah. But he didn't do that for your prophet. He let your prophet be humiliated by allowing his mother and father die and go to hell. Man, what a nice God this is. He did this to the best of mankind. When when did the parents die of Muhammad? Abdullah died before Muhammad was born, according to tradition. But did Abdullah know that Allah is God because his name is Abdullah, servant of Allah? No, no. When does when does his father and his mother died? I just Muhammad. answered you. Are you listening? Repeat what I said. Let's see if you're listening. I know you're running from this, but you're not going to No, no. Answer. Muhammad's father, like you said, died Abdullah. before Muhammad was born. Abdullah mean? Servant of Allah. So he knew Allah because he's the slave of Allah. No, it's just an Arabic word. So who's Allah? Abdullah. He's Abdullah. He's a servant of who? Of La. Who? Of La. La. No, Allah. Even if you say La, he's a slave of La, Allah. So you're bearing yourself. Was Abdullah then a descendant of Ishmael? Maybe. Oh, then you don't know your religion. Anyway, so coming back to Muhammad's mother, Amina, mm -hmm. she's in hell according to your prophet. And yet Jesus, Allah made... Jesus is mother greatest of all women and faultless. Man, mm -hmm. this and Jesus, no, but he's he's just a messenger, he's just a man. Okay, here let me show you where your hadith says she's in hell. Muhammad is the seal of the prophet. What does the that seal. got to do that there were people who knew the religion of Abraham before your prophet, like Waraka bin Nofal? So Muhammad's parents were pagans. And Muhammad Why? got the revelations when his parents died. Of Ibrahim. If the parents choose to be pagan, they're pagan. Okay, so, but why did Allah not do that for Jesus? He created Mary to be the greatest woman instead of allowing her to choose to become a pagan and burn in hell like Muhammad's mother. We got the free will. Oh, so did Mary have free will? Did she have free will? Come on, let's go with it. Not and really. yet he still made her the greatest woman and pure? And no, you don't have free will in Sunni Islam. Mm -hmm. It's Qadr, Takdir. Allah predestined. Pre and but if my parents died before I became a prophet, how should I guide them? Because if your parents are born with Jews and Christians, and they know about Ibrahim and his religion, you just buried yourself. <laughs> my parents are also in Germany, a Christian country, and still they're not Christian. So that means they know Christianity, they choose to reject it and go to hell, yes. right? Yes, they choose so to reject it. you just made my point. Muhammad's parents had no excuse not to believe. And since Allah determines who becomes a believer, why didn't he make them believers like he did for Mary? You didn't answer the question, you ran. Did Mary have free will? Not really. Oh, so Allah chose her not to have free will, to create her to be perfect. Why didn't he do that for your prophet instead of allowing them the free will to say, no, we're not going to follow Tawheed of Ibrahim, though we know it. We're going to worship idols and go to hell. Allah guides the one who he loves. That's it. You just made my point. Thank you. So Allah was pleased to make Mary the greatest woman, but was pleased to damn your prophet's mother to hell. Good job, Allah. You just made my argument. Are you listening? The argument is mm -hmm. Allah loves Jesus so much more than your prophet. He decreed and created Mary to be perfect, but he decreed and chose to guide Muhammad's parents to hell. Excellent. You just made my point. So why did Allah, was he pleased to make Jesus' mother Mm -hmm. A righteous woman, sinless and perfect, but he was pleased to misguide Muhammad's mother to hell. But, but I mean, what does the parents have to do with the prophethood? You, are you on drugs, brother? I mean, honestly, do you? No, I'm not on drugs. I'm asking you, why yes. is Jesus' mother so special that she's the greatest woman? You keep tap dancing. Because he's a, a mother of the Messiah. Of course he's Also, special. the Messiah made her great, but I thought Muhammad is the greatest man, so why didn't he make his mother great? You uh, just uh, said, oh, because she's a mother Messiah, so yes. it's because... The Messiah, he made his mother great. But I thought mm -hmm. Muhammad is the perfect man and the seal of prophets. So why couldn't he make his mother great? 